Fluent CRM released an official integration with Surecart today, and I wanted to create a tutorial to show you how I think it's actually a really reasonable way to implement or to integrate Surecart with Fluent CRM. There has for quite a while been a way to integrate Surecart with Fluent CRM using, well, a, a number of different ways. My existing favorite method has been to use Surecart with either Thrive Automator, which is a free like on-site Zapier alternative, or when you get a Surecart plan, I think maybe like business, I don't know which of the plans it comes in with Surecart, but if you have like a Surecart business plan, you for sure have it. It's like a Zapier, like a total Zapier alternative. And it essentially, you can create a trigger where it says when the customer purchases this product, and then it integrates directly with Fluent CRM because it detects that Fluent CRM is on your site. Uh, and it works really great too. So there have always been these official integrations between Fluent CRM and Surecart, either through the Thrive Theme side, where they created an integration with Fluent CRM and Surecart made an integration with uh, Thrive Automator, or uh, officially on the Surecart side. But now we can simplify this, I, I believe simplify this process by instead of having to include a Fluent CRM step, if you will, or action within a workflow or a, a zap or a trigger type thing, instead of having to include one of those in every one of what could be many different workflows for your automation, we can now take that component and just set it entirely over in Fluent CRM and say, if, you know, if this product, this product, this product, or this product are purchased, put them in this automation. That actually greatly simplifies the process of having to create these workflow automations for when people sign up. So Let's jump in. Let's take a look at how this works. It's really straightforward. I think the Fluent CRM team did a really good job of it. And I'll show you how I'm going to adapt mine, kind of what we talked about. And let's dive in and take a look at how that's done. To make this work, you're just going to need to be on a website that has Surecart installed on the same site as Fluent CRM. Like I explained before, there's always been a number of different ways to connect Surecart and Fluent CRM. So if you're not on the same site with those two tools, that's totally okay. You'll probably want to stick with one of those other options. But if you're on the same site together, Fluent CRM and Surecart, it's really easy. When we go to create a new automation, uh, just immediately you can see the initial trigger here. They've added Surecart. So let's give our first get started by giving an internal label. We'll just call this our Surecart automation test. And we can choose the Surecart option to see that we have two places that we can start with any Surecart automation in Fluent CRM. The first one is new order success. This basically means when an order is successfully submitted, processed, transacted, that's going to be the trigger and we can refine it from there. And the other one is when an order is revoked. Now an order gets revoked in a number of ways. That's when an admin can revoke it or when a customer cancels a subscription, something like that. So we'll get started with just the new order success one and click continue. And it immediately brings up the screen where we're going to determine what happens once the purchase is successfully completed. So you can choose whether to subscribe them automatically or to leave them as pending. Unsubscribe makes no sense here. I don't know why that exists. Uh, I would say in this automation, we are transacting. So I would say we're gonna keep it as an instant subscribe. And the next step here under what happens if the contact exists, I think is an important one because uh, the way that Surecart works is it creates a WordPress user and many Fluent CRM uh, users like myself, keep it synced with the WordPress users on the site. We keep our contacts and Fluent CRM synced. So in many cases, a user will already exist if it's a returning customer or if the customer technically created their account already through the Surecart funnel. We just wanna make sure that all these things are synced up. So if the contact exists, I would just leave it on update if exist. And then for the products here, this is where you choose what products are applied to this purchase event. If you leave it blank, it's just going to run this automation for literally every single purchase, which might have practical application, but for us, maybe we want to select a specific product. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, for, for my example, anyone that joins my community membership is going to trigger this automation. Now, this one's interesting. Restart the automation multiple times for a contact for this event. This basically means that if somebody makes this purchase multiple times, they're going to get this email multiple times. I don't know exactly how the Fluent CRM, I mean, this is things brand new. I don't know if, how this Fluent CRM integration works, if that's gonna hit every rebill on a subscription, uh, cause that's a purchase that's completed. So 
I'm going to leave this blank. I, I don't really see many cases where you would want to send an email if, if this is an email automation. Um, but again, if you need this to run every single time this user purchases this product or a user purchases this product, you would just check that box. Really, that's kind of it, right? Like, so, so what happens next? Well, you can click this plus symbol here and you can see you're just using Fluent CRM like normal. You can, I like to use the send custom email one. And I have a couple other videos here on the channel all about creating those email templates to reuse so that it's just as simple as clicking the button and dropping in your email. Uh, and from here, you can send webhooks. So I would say if you were going to uh, fire off any kind of external tools and you weren't a like Thrive Automator or Sure Triggers user, you could trigger those outgoing webhooks from Fluent CRM. And this would be just a really handy way of, of just keeping everything really tight right at the point of purchase on your site from Fluent CRM. Now, the same would be true. We looked at what happens if an order is successful. The same would be true if we were to change this instead of new order success, we changed it to sure cart order revoked. We changed our automation trigger there. It'd be the same thing. It would just be uh, choosing a product. Let's say they canceled their community membership what's going to happen. Maybe I send them an email when they get unsubscribed or I fire a webhook to remove them from something. I can now keep all of that here. And once the order is canceled, I come in here, I can either send an email or an outgoing webhook, whatever I need to do to trigger the automation, whatever I need to do in this automation to trigger the next actions. Now, previously, we're actually looking at my, my very simplistic onboarding sequence here for my automations. Previously, I, I do sell through Surecart. And what happens is, through sure triggers, I apply a tag or a list. If we come in here, we can see that I'm currently saying run this automation when the user is added to a list, community membership, and I don't run that multiple times. So they get added to the list. And then what happens, I send them my welcome email that I've set up here, and then I apply them to a list and then I end the funnel. So really all you'd have to do to keep all of your existing workflows here is instead of when they get added to a list, you just come in and click this gear right here. So again, keep your existing automation, don't rebuild it. Just click this gear right here to the left of stats, click the gear, and then just change this from, in my case, CRM applied, yours might be CRM tag applied. Just change it to sure cart new order success, and then walk through those initial setups that we just looked at. Now I wanted to give you a look inside of sure triggers to show you how I have historically used fluent CRM. A subscription is created, right? Like a purchase. We'll think of this as the purchase is successful. This would be the same equivalent in fluent CRM. I do my thing here. In this case, I'm inviting them to my circle community and then I'm adding them to fluent CRM and then I'm sending an external webhook. Well, that's, I mean, there's nothing technically wrong with that. That wasn't too difficult. It's click a button, click a button, click a button done. But here, I would have to repeat that process multiple times if I had different membership levels inside of my community, or if I wanted to create multiple different workflows is what sure triggers calls them. I would need to add this step every single time. And then, you know, what happens? I click on it and I say, okay, what happens? Select the event, add or update contact. What ha what site? Select my site, you know, go through this and have to fill out customer name, customer email, so on and so forth tag on the list, et cetera, et cetera. And you have to go through this whole process of setup. Whereas I could just delete this entirely and not worry about adding this particular multi-step setup for each of my different workflows. And instead literally just come in here and in one spot in this, in the same spot where I'm sending this welcome email, like if we launch the visual editor here, I mean, I'm having to send this email to my community members no matter what, right? They're getting this email no matter what. So instead of having to create an integration that then sends them over to Fluent CRM, I'm really just kind of splitting it right at that point of purchase, right at the very top where it splits. I'm just handling all the email stuff in, in Fluent CRM and I'm handling all of the other types of automations in Sure Triggers, you know, the ones that I, I can only exclusively do in Sure Triggers, I'm doing over here. To me, it just, it technically is the same number of things. I have a sure triggers automation anyway for inviting people to my community. And I have a fluent CRM automation anyway to send the emails, but I'm not having to compound step setup. Hopefully that makes sense. In addition to the automations and things that you can do now with this integration with Surecart, in Fluent CRM, we also have the ability to come in and look at a contacts record here. And there's a new tab called Purchase History. You can click on Purchase History and you'll now have a section 
specifically for Surecart purchase history. And currently at the time of recording this, which is pretty much right when this feature came out, this is currently bugged and showing every customer's purchase history for every one of your contacts. However, I have reported this bug and I did get confirmation that this is going to be fixed. It is a bug. And upon being fixed, you'll go to the purchase history tab and just see the individual purchase history for this particular customer, which would be perhaps just as easy to get to as it would be to go to your Surecart customer section, do a search for their email and find that info. But if you're using Fluent CRM as more of a true CRM, uh, which over time it's evolving, soon there will be pipelines and things like that, uh, this will be very useful information to have all in one place. I personally really like this update. I'm going to go through all of my workflows and remove that extra step inside of Sure Triggers of connecting over to Fluent CRM. And I'm just going to have Fluent CRM take care of all the Fluent CRM stuff. And I'm going to have Sure Triggers take care of all of the other things that can only happen in a thing like Sure Triggers or Zapier. And to me, that just makes the setup a lot more easy when I'm creating automations for multiple products. If you have any questions about the integration between Surecart and Fluent CRM, technically on either side of that integration, whether it be the Fluent CRM side, creating this new integration we looked at today, or on the Surecart side, which has historically, since the beginning, had that integration built, feel free to let me know. Leave a comment down below.